Councilman Theron. You found yourself needed for once. <sighs> My king and queen, I was just entertaining your guests. I'm sure. Before you speak, Persian, know that in Sparta, everyone, even a king's messenger, is held accountable for the words of his voice. Now, what message do you bring? Earth and water. You rode all the way from Persia for earth and water. Do not be coy or stupid, Persian. You can afford neither in Sparta. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. Let us walk to cool our tongues. If you value your lives over your complete annihilation, listen carefully, Midas. Xerxes conquers and controls everything he rests his eyes upon. He leads an army so massive it shakes the ground with its march, so vast it drinks the rivers dry. All the God King Xerxes requires is this, a simple offering of earth and water, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it the Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and uh, boy lovers found that kind of nerve, then... We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Madman. You're a madman. Earth and water. Oh, you'll find plenty of both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. Sparta!